Let's take a look at setting up the MPK Mini within Reason 8.3. So go ahead and take the supplied USB cable and connect it to a USB port on your uh, computer. And go ahead and take the other end and connect that to the MPK Mini. If you're on the PC, uh, Windows should recognize that device as well as on the Mac and the MPK Mini is plug-and-play or class compliant so you don't need additional drivers in order for your operating system to recognize the device and now that we're connected I'll go ahead and launch Reason So the next step that we want to do is come to Edit and then down to Preferences. We want to click on the Control Surfaces tab. And in here you have a couple of different ways that you can go about adding the device to Reason. You can auto-detect and Reason will perform a search and add the device that way. That doesn't always work. So you also have the option to manually add. I'm going to begin the manual, manual process but cancel out at the end so you can see how that would be done. But if we select add, choose the manufacturer where we're working with Akai. So I'm selecting that. Then below that you'll choose the model, the MPK Mini. Your input port so you could also choose find and then press a key on the MPK and it should add it then at this point you would choose OK but I'm just going to cancel out and give the auto detect surface a, a try see how that goes and so it looks like we're gonna have to do the manual way anyway so let's come back Akai MPK Mini find I'm gonna press press a key here choose and then hit OK and this is just a message uh, this surface assumes you have the Akai MPK Mini programmed with the factory default preset 1. I haven't made any changes, I haven't installed the editor yet, so that should be correct. We'll close out of here. Let's then bring in a Thor. Find some kind of pad here and see if we've got anything. So it looks like we're in business as far as the keys are concerned. Let me readjust my camera angle here so I can get more and uh, of the keys in and capture the pads as well. Let's see how the pads. Okay, so those are the information is getting transmitted from those as well. Let's bring in a Kong.
So when we're on bank A, we're uh, sending to pads 9 through 16. If I switch this to B... So it looks like this could use a bit of work in uh, setting up the mapping for the pads. And that's that'll be something that I uh, take a look at in a future video coming up soon, because that's going to involve getting out the editor, and I need to spend some time looking into that. But for the moment... We do have some control of the pads there. And actually, let's try out the pitch bend and modulation. It'd help if I directed the MIDI back to Thor. Let me put a lead on here. So it doesn't seem like that's sending out any information and the pitch and mod wheels aren't even moving within the synth. So that's another thing that I'll have to take a look at within the editor. Also going to Akai's website and downloading the latest firmware and installing that. Maybe that will help out as well. So I'll do some follow up videos, but at the very least we've got control of the key and can start to lay down some music from there.